So we are in Sweden for the first time and of course we have to taste the famous Fil Mjöl, which is a typically Swedish product which we've never tried before. So let's go! As you can see we are staying at a tipi, so at a lake with nobody else around us, so how much more Swedish can it get? So if you've never heard of film milk before, which is not weird because we've never heard of it either. It's a fermented cow milk product and it's, I would say, it's like somewhere in between milk and yogurt. And it comes very close to other products in other countries, maybe like kefir or German buttermilk or Dutch caramel. Or... But enough talking, let's pour us a glass of film milk. What we also realized when we read the package for the first time, we saw that it's a regional product from the area we are in right now. We are next to Sunne, which is in the Värmland region. So here goes nothing. Trying film milk for the first time ever. Oh, that's nice. I like it actually. I like all the dairy products, so I'm not very surprised by this. There's also like, like a German-Dutch drink it's like called buttermilk or buttermilk is probably the, the most appropriate translation and it comes really close to this one I think this one is even a little more creamier so I think I would prefer this one actually but the taste is very similar it's like the a little bit of sourness to it that that the other drinks have as well yeah this is a little more creamy this is more a little more thicker I really like it here goes nothing I'm not as confident as Tim because I'm not that much of a milk drinker. The smell alone uh, is a bit too sour for me, I have to say. I have a little bit of a milk trauma because when I was little I had to drink milk twice a day and most of the time my brother didn't finish his milk because he didn't like it either. And then he said, because he was my little brother, like, I, I finished it, it was Dennis that didn't finish it. And I had to finish his glass of milk as well, so I have three glasses a day, I don't know. Okay, but enough talking, it smells a bit like... It smells a bit creamy as well, I have to say, but also very sour. Oh, oh, this is actually quite nice. It's rather thick, much thicker than milk. This is more creamy. It tastes a bit like, it's a bit sour, but then it also feels like there is like whipped cream without being whipped, like the, just the cream added into it. I like it actually. I think this is better than yogurt. Yogurt is sometimes a bit too bitter or sour on its own. Because of the creaminess, this is less, less in your face zingy, you know what I mean? Hmm, I'm actually quite happy with this. In the supermarket I saw that they had this in blueberry flavor as well, or maybe even more flavors, so that's interesting. I would definitely love to try that because it's really interesting. If you're in Sweden, definitely try the film yolk. It's really something you should try. It's different, it's interesting. So now we are going to enjoy our evening at this amazing teepee at this beautiful lake. Thanks so much for watching this Filmjölk Swedish food video. And I'm so happy that Dennis liked it as well. Maybe we'll try other flavors as well, who knows. And uh, please check out our other Swedish food videos. There will be plenty more and also about our travels in general. And if you haven't subscribed already, please do and leave a comment down below and leave a like and don't forget the bell notification. Bye guys!